Article 3. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Marian Dogmas What do you mean by dogma? It is a doctrine of faith officially declared by the Church, which every Catholic must believe. There are four Marian dogmas. Number one, Mary, Mother of God. The Council of Ephesus defines it in 431 AD, which declares that the Virgin Mary is the Mother of God, which in Greek is rendered as Theotokos. Mary is the Mother of Jesus. Jesus is God. Therefore, Mary is the Mother of God. What do you mean by Theotokos? It means bearer of God, or the one who gives birth to God. But in Latin, it was rendered as Mater Dei, and in English, Mother of God. The exact Greek translation of Mother of God will be Theometer. Mary is the Mother of the Incarnate Son of God, or Mother of God Incarnated, namely, of the human nature of Christ, and she is by no means a godness. In the liturgy, we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, on January 1. The Biblical Proofs of the First Marian Dogma The Annunciation When Archangel Gabriel announced that she will conceive and bear a son, she is the Mother of Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God. Therefore, she can be called Mother of the Son of God or in short, Mother of God. The Visitation After Mary entered her house, Elizabeth, inspired by the Holy Spirit, exclaimed, How does this happen that the Mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth used the word Lord, which means Kyrios in Greek. It's applied only for God. Therefore, she proclaimed Mary as the Mother of the Lord, meaning the mother of God. What is the history of the first Marian dogma? According to Pope Celestine I, assembled the Council of Ephesus upon the request of St. Cyril, Patriarch of Alexandria, to refute the heresy of Nestorius, Patriarch of Constantinople. Nestorius objected that Mary should be called Mother of Christ or Christotokos and not the Mother of God or the Theotokos. There were two reasons. God is eternal and cannot have a beginning because the title implied that Mary was herself a deity. Consequently, he professed that the human and the divine nature of Christ remained separated and were not united into one divine person. The Council of Ephesus asserted that since Mary is the mother of Jesus and Jesus is God, she could be genuinely venerated as a mother of God. Moreover, the Council clarified that the divine nature of Jesus Christ is begotten of God the Father from eternity, while His human nature was conceived in the womb of Mary in time. The dogmatic definition declared if somebody does not believe that the Emmanuel is God and that therefore the Holy Virgin is Theotokos since she generated in the flesh the word who is God, be excommunicated. The dogma of the Theotokos was never meant to suggest that Mary was a goddess or mother of God from eternity, but only mother of the incarnate Son of God. After the declaration of Mary as the Theotokos, the people of Ephesus, full of rejoicing, escorted the fathers to their houses with torches and incense. Nestorius was discharged from his diocese and retired to his, to his former monastery near Antioch. The Perpetual Virginity The Second Dogma It was included in the Apostles' Creed and solemnly defined by the Council of Nicaea, which states that she remained a virgin of her whole life. The Greek term dogma is apartenos, which means ever-virgin. This implies that Mary remained a virgin before, during, and after birth of Christ. What does virginity before birth mean? The virginity of Mary before the birth of Jesus is stated at the Annunciation, Gabriel was sent to a virgin betrothed to a man 
whose name was Mary. Mary confirmed her virginal status when she said, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? Afterward, an angel appeared in a dream to St. Joseph and said, Do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. What does virginity during birth mean? We believe that the virginity of Mary was not lost in the act of giving birth to Jesus. As affirmed by the Catechism of the Council of Trent, Jesus Christ came forth from his mother's womb without injury to her maternal virginity. The teaching was confirmed by the Second Vatican Council, and Christ's birth did not diminish mother's virginal integrity but sanctify it and ratified by the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Council of Trent also added that the Virgin Mary brought Jesus the Son of God without experiencing any pain, but the painless birth was not mentioned by the Second Vatican Council. What does virginity after birth mean? The virginity of Mary after the birth of Jesus has been universally accepted by the Church on the following arguments. Number one, nowhere in the Bible is written that Mary had other children from Joseph. The fact that Jesus was Mary's firstborn son and that Joseph had no marital gave relations with her until she gave birth to a son does not imply the existence of siblings or a marital relationship with Mary. Number two, it is not proper that the virgin mother of the Messiah should naturally have other children. Who are the brothers and sisters of Jesus mentioned in the Gospel? The Greek word adelpoi used in the Gospel could mean either brother of Jesus or relatives. James and Joseph addressed are revealed as the sons of other Mary who is not the mother of Jesus. Even nowadays, we call our fellow Christians brothers and sisters because we share the same faith, though not the same blood. Number two, if Jesus had real brothers and sisters from the cross, he should have entrusted Mary to them and not to St. John, following the Jewish tradition and dictates of filial love. The fact that Jesus said, Woman, behold your son, indirectly confirms that Jesus was the only child of Mary. According to the Proto-Evangelium of James 1.20 AD, apocryphal book, meaning it is not approved by the church, the so-called brothers and sisters of Jesus were the children of St. Joseph from a previous marriage. While serving in the temple of Jerusalem, Mary became engaged with Joseph, an elderly widower who was to protect her virginity. The Immaculate Conception What is the meaning of the third dogma? The dogma of Immaculate Conception says that the Virgin Mary was conceived without the original sin and remained sinless for her life. Pope Pius IX solemnly declared it on December 8, 1854, with a bull, in a fabulous deus, in these words, We firmly believe that the Blessed Virgin Mary in the first instant of her conception was, by a unique grace and privilege of Almighty God, given the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of human race, preserved, exempt, from all the stain of original sin. The title Immaculate derives from the Latin words in and macula, meaning without stain. Mary is immaculate because she is without the stain of the original and personal sin. The Greek title of Immaculate is akrantos, meaning all pure or spotless. Conception on December 8, exactly nine months before the Nativity of Mary on September 8. What are the common errors about Immaculate Conception? What are the three common misunderstandings about the Immaculate Conception that ought to be corrected? Number one, Mary is Immaculate because she was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The truth is that Mary was conceived in the natural manner by her parents, Joachim and Anne, but without the stain of the original sin. Number two, Mary is Immaculate because she is a virgin. Indeed, the fact that Mary is immaculate has nothing to do with her virginity, lest we consider the natural intercourse between husband and wife a sin. Number three, Mary is immaculate, therefore she did not need a savior. 
In truth, all need to be saved by Jesus. But in the case of Mary, salvation was anticipated through her conception so that Jesus Christ could be born from a sinless and perfectly pure mother. The Assumption What is the meaning of the fourth dogma? The dogma of the Assumption of Mary, body, and soul into heaven was declared by Pope Pius XII on November 1, 1950 with the bull Munificetissimus Deus. It states, We believe that the Immaculate Mother of God, the Ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. Mary was taken up into the glory by the power of God, whereas Christ ascended by His own power of God. Since the 5th century, the Feast of the Assumption was known as the Falling Asleep of Mary, is celebrated on August 15th. In the 6th century, a basilica was built in Gethsemane, Jerusalem, on the place where popular belief held the tomb of Mary was located. Thank you.